today I'm going to be doing a lot of you have requested recently for me to just do like my everyday makeup like if I'm in a rush which I am most of the time I am always late I'm just one of those annoying people that is late to everything no matter how much I try and be on time like I really do try I'll always be late so if you ever arrange to meet me I'll be late <laughs> that's just me so I most of the time do have to do my makeup in a rush and this kind of makeup look which I would do in a rush every day is perfect for if you're at school, college, work, mum on the go, like it's really really quick and easy to do. I'm actually going to time myself, I've never timed myself before, so we'll see how long it does take me to do, because I really don't think it takes me that long, but I could be wrong, so we'll see at the end how long it took me. Took me? It took me this long. Um, so it's really really simple, makeup is nothing complicated, it's nothing really that exciting, it is just like making yourself look good but not like you really tried or glamorous particularly, it's just standard makeup. Long intro. Always do long intros. Right, I guess it might take me a little bit longer because I'm going to be telling you, I'm going to be talking to you, so I'm going to be telling you like what I'm doing. Actually, let me put my hair up because that might make me go a little bit quicker because we don't want to be getting it like foundation in my hair. Right, okay, we're going to get started right. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, right now. Eek! It's almost two seconds gone. Okay, so at the moment, nothing on my face apart from obviously just moisturiser, which I do when I get out of the shower. For foundation, I don't use foundation every day. I use this, which you've probably seen in my video before. I think it's the most amazing sort of BB cream I've ever used, ever, ever, ever. It's insane. It's almost run out, so I'm really going to have to squeeze this out. But it's the L'Oreal Skin Perfection BB Cream 5-in-1 Instant Blemish Balm. And this is in shade Medium. I would like a darker one of this, but I don't think they do it. I've only seen that they do light or medium. I mean, this is fine for me now because it's winter, but in the summer, it's not good. Anyway, so I put this on my finger. Blah, blah. It's wasting valuable time here. There you go. Okay, so I just put it on my finger, and then I just dot it around my face. And then I use a large stippling brush to blend this in. If you're looking for like the quickest way to blend a BB cream or foundation in, I really think this is it. But it is going to give you like a light coverage, it's not going to give you much coverage. So obviously if you want more coverage then by all means use a foundation or yeah. So you can see that's not giving me much coverage but it has evened out my skin tone giving me a, a little bit more colour to my face and just like a nice glow like it's definitely evened it out for concealer I love the Maybelline Age Rewind I always call it that it's actually called the eye eraser and I just put it under my eye like we normally would bridge of nose like this and then I take this again is a really quick way of blending it out. This is the Real Techniques Duo Fibre Brush. I've used this quite a lot in my videos. I just tap it in and then I just use the bristle bit to blend it out. But it like seriously blends in your concealer so quickly. Actually needs a wash because I used it yesterday. This concealer is really good because it's really pretty good coverage. It's not like heavy coverage, but it's pretty good and it's really brightening. Okay, and then to set my under eye area, I use at the moment the Soap and Glory Instant Retouch Powder. I do like to set my under eye even if I'm in a rush, if I can open it, because it it obviously just prevents it from creasing, but I don't use a tiny bit. I like my everyday makeup to be quite fresh and glowy looking, so just a tiny bit. Ooh. And then I take my Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer. This is in medium, no, 30M which is 30 matte 
and I use this on this large Royal Techniques lash brush and I basically just go around the perimeters of my face, forehead, so like in a three motion. I don't contour my nose. Well, I'm not really contouring my face. So just like that. And then I just run some highlighter. Oh my God, I've already been that long. I just run some highlighter. This is just the current favorite one, which is the Anastasia So Hollywood on a large frown brush. And I kind of like, you can see I'm being quite, putting this, not everywhere, but like, this highlighter is like, it's actually called an illuminator. And it is more like a glowy illuminator look it gives to the face, which I really like. And on a large strand brush, it just makes it really quick and easy to do. Highlight that face, girl. It's always gonna make you look better if you're really highlighted. Once I've done that, I go back in with a stippling brush just to make sure it's all blended. And then I spray it with MAC Fix Plus. You can totally skip this step. I just like it because it really brings out that highlight and makes your face look really dewy, 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 which I really like. Eyebrows, if I'm in a rush, I use the Brow Wiz purely because this is, I think, probably the quickest way. I mean, powder's pretty quick, but you have to kind of get out two products, whereas with this, you've got the brush, you've got the pencil, and you can just sort of fill in the sparse areas. So I don't go crazy with this. I literally just run over the natural shape. And you can see I'm holding it near the end and I just do like flicking motions to like emulate hairs. Flick up and then flick. Basically try and copy the way that your hairs are going. And then I just brush them through to make sure there's no like weird patchy bits. And that is one brow done. Next brow. Okay. My eyebrows really need doing, so don't judge all the strays. Right. Moving on to the eyes, I first will go back to the highlighter powder you used and, oh, I can you open it? And then just with my ring finger, I just push some in the center of my eyelid, like so. Don't blend it because we then, I then go in with my bronzer. Oh my God, I just can't open anything. You know, when you're like trying to rush, it makes you even slower. And then go, then go, I then go in with my bronzer. What's going on with my hair? <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, bronzer, same one we used, and I take a Jura Fiber Royal Techniques brush, and I just run this through my crease. You know me guys, if you watch my channel, I can't get enough of a little bit of bronzer in my crease, because I think it's just, it's always gonna tie in with your face, because it's what you've used on it, and it's like a perfect warm brown color. Like any bronzer would do, it doesn't have to be this one. Whichever bronzer you like to use for your face will work for your eyelids. And you can see I'm working it like around that center point and just working it into the crease. Obviously the longer you spend working it in the crease, the darker it's gonna get. But obviously this is just every day, pop into the shops, pop in to pick the kids up from school, college, um, school, anything like that. So we don't want it to be like dramatic. I also take this underneath my eye. Then all I do is curl my lashes. I like have to curl my lashes, they're really quite straight. I'm like an elephant. But you guys know how much I love elephants. And then I use my favorite mascara, which I just got a new one, so I'm just gonna open it. Again, wasting time. <laughs> um, it's the benefit, not the benefit, it's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and I just apply, apply a decent coat of this. I love this mascara, like, so much. 
Like you can see, like what have I done there? Like literally like a few strokes and they're already so much thicker, blacker and longer. A little tip also with your bottom lashes, I wiggle the lash, the brush on my lash line, but like almost on my skin and it gives you like that little bit of a, almost looks like you've got eyeliner on, when really it's just mascara. So like that, and then I just take that brush and just, this is weird, I like kind of blend out once I put mascara on, because it kind of blends out that line you've created with the mascara, but it also just makes my bottom eyelashes look a bit more natural, because I don't really have many bottom eyelashes, so if I put too much mascara on them, they look a bit weird because they're so sparse. So if I just blend it with the brush, then it really helps. Okay, and then finally for the lips, it depends where I'm going. I might just put on lip balm, in which case I use the Lucas Pore Pore ointment. It's my favourite lip balm. If you don't have this, you need to get it. It's a natural, natural one. It's literally Pore Pore ointment. And it's obviously the best thing I've ever, ever, ever used. It works for lots of different things, but it's really, really good for your lips. I put it on every night before I go to bed, and I never have chapped lips, ever. And then, okay, yeah, so for lips. Sometimes I'll just leave them like this, if I'm not really doing anything. Sometimes I'll then just line them with MAC Saw. It's probably my most used. It's pretty short. But because you've got lip balm on, it almost makes it into a lipstick. So it's not going to be drying. So you can see I'm just lining them. I can't talk on this one. So sometimes I'll just leave it like this. Or sometimes I'll put lipstick on. Everyday lipstick, I really like matte velvet teddy. So I'll just apply that over the top. Okay, let's stop that timer. Ah, it's gone on lock screen. Okay, that was longer than I thought. That was 13 minutes. 13 minutes, 18.68, 13 minutes. That was longer than I thought, but then I was talking to you and explaining how to do stuff and talking you through it and stuff like that. I honestly think I could do that. I definitely in under 10, like I definitely could do that in under 10 if I wasn't talking. But I reckon even some days I do it even quicker than that. Um, but as you can see, it's a really, let me turn my hair down. As you can see, like that was really quick and easy to do. You get a really natural looking makeup look. This is perfect for every day, as I said, school, college, anything. Pop into the shops. Like, this is super, super quick and easy to do. And I think it just has a really nice natural look. You look like you don't have much makeup on at all, but it just looks put together. And this is what I pretty much do every single day if I'm just like doing errands or something like that. You definitely can adapt from this, like if you don't want to wear any eyeshadow, which I sometimes don't, then just don't get that part on. Um, if you don't want to highlight, don't highlight. I think highlight's important though, so do highlight. Um, if you want to put eyeliner on and you're quick at that, I'm not very quick at eyeliner. If you wanted to put eyeliner on, you totally could wear eyeliner with this look. You could wear a dark lip with this look, so it may even look even more put together. Like, it's quite adaptable, but I think it's just a perfect base and look for every single day, and it is what I do every single day. So. I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!